Today we're going to be tying a rainbow south scud nymph. You can find a list of materials below in the description. But we're going to be starting out with a size 14 nymph hook uh, using red UTC uh, 70 thread. I had already put on um, a few wraps of lead free wire uh, just to give it some weight. Uh, so it can get down to those fish in the deeper pools. Um, just tying that down with the thread. Uh, and especially with souse, boat, souse scuds, we want to uh, really give them that flat profile. So I'm just using some pliers here to crimp down the wire, uh, flatten it on top and bottom, uh, making a, a wider... A thinner profile. Um, then for the bloodline uh, running on the back of the nymph, I'm just attaching here uh, a strand of uh, flash, flashaboo, uh, down to the back. Um, when tying this house good, uh, I've seen lots of people might use lots of different colors uh, of dubbing or even ostrich feathers but here I'm using uh, some rainbow uh, scud dubbing here um, have a nice taper to your dubbing uh, start off thin and work thicker in the middle and you'll see at the end how we're gonna pull that dubbing out to increase that flat profile. Um, after putting on the dubbing, I'm just gonna create a small red head with the thread, uh, kind of like a hot spot, and then pull that flashaboo back over, take a couple wraps to bind it down, then pull it back, and then take another couple wraps uh, to really lock that down because it can be kind of a uh, slippery material. Go ahead and clip the excess off. Um, well, and that's about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and whip finish uh, and kind of build up that hot spot uh, near the eye of the hook. Um, this fly doesn't have a bead, but all that weight... Uh, from the lead free wraps uh, should be plenty for it to sink quite nicely um, finally to finish off the fly we're going to go ahead and take some velcro and really kind of work both the near and far sides uh, of the south scud to pull out some of those um, fibers as you can see I'm doing here. Um, then we're going to go ahead and take the scissors and trim those even. And you can kind of see in the picture on the thumbnail what a uh, view from the top should look like. So go ahead and get that trimmed up and that's how you tie a rainbow sauce good.